Hey guys, hey girls, hey everyone. First of all, I must ask apology for my, my voice. I have been, I got a cold, but uh, I really would like to record this video. It has been a long time that I have been trying to, to record this video. And uh, I think there's a very nice uh, application, there's a very nice uh, experience sharing. I mean, you all know uh, somehow ChatGPT. If you do not know ChatGPT, it is artificial intelligence based on uh, machine learning that is focused on text. So for you to use, you have just to uh, go to this address. It's free. You can use in your phone. You can use in your computer. Uh, today, I'm going to share a couple of the applications that have been used, have been used a lot. And I thought to myself, maybe that would be very nice to share this application because, I mean, uh, maybe it's a kind of a idea how you can maybe use chat uh, the first the first application of mine that I would like to share with you guys is this kind of situation but imagine imagine that you I myself I'm a writer so I'm always writing but sometimes at least for myself I remember vaguely I remember vaguely about the a theory about a, a situation about a, uh, si let's say general about a theory that yeah, I I wanted to write about, but I can I can I can remember the the I can remember the the idea behind the theory, but I can't remember the name. So in that specific case, I was writing about the uh, meritocracy. Uh, then I remember about a uh, cognitive bias that. Uh, if you do not know what is a cognitive bias, a cognitive bias is about a, it's a brain like shortcut. It's how you from this confirmation bias. Confirmation bias is a very famous cognitive bias, which essentially is our tendency to uh, to think and confirm what you believe. So I was right, and I was thinking once. I then I asked ChatGPT. Once I was reading about cognitive bias that happens with people of success, uh, then they tend to believe they know the path. So it's it, even though the success is full randomness, randomness. So do uh, do you know that bias? So I asked ChatGPT to help me to remember uh, a kind of theory, a kind of bias of psychology, which I cannot remember the name. I can remember that it exists. I can remember I read somewhere, but I cannot remember uh where i saw it so i think that's a very nice application because that's, it helped a lot with me that i cannot remember uh i cannot remember what i was what i was uh think about but i can know that the, the theory, theory is out there for example then he gave me all the answers yes the cognitive bias called illusion of control wow that was awful awesome because i mean i could not remember the name and the ChatGPT even gave me all the explanation. Eh? Then I asked, you, could you write in Portuguese? Because my book was in Portuguese, so it was in Portuguese. So let's make a, a kind of example. For example, uh, suppose that you, 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 you are writing about, for example, uh, artificial intelligence. Then uh, let's pause. Uh, once I read the book, about uh, about the problems of artificial intelligence when the data set advice. I know the book, but I want to see what TBC is going to say. Once I read the book about the problem of artificial intelligence, data set advice. Uh, Essentially, the book uh, made a point that we must pay attention to how we made it. I know the opinion. 
Let's see what's there. Once I read a book about the problems of children when the data set arise. Essentially, the book made a point that you must pay attention on how to on how on how opinion would are. I know the book, but let's see what GPT say. So do you know the book? So let's see what he says. No, this case didn't work, but I know because it's a bit harder uh, to do that. But let's suppose, for example, in the, in the previous case I gave you, it worked for my book. Uh, that I was right. But let's suppose, for example, uh, let's suppose, for example, because as I read the book, it was easy for me to, to see. But let's suppose, for example, uh, I want to find a, a, a different example. I want to think about a, a different uh, example of how to to find information that you are thinking about. You know the the you have the idea about what inside your head, but you cannot remember. So let's try again cognitive bias. Uh, there is a cognitive where people where. People are over, over confident. In this case, I remember the name. Success. This is going to bias where people are overconfident in their own past success. Uh, do you know this bias? So essentially. Uh, yes, cognitive bias you are referring to is overconfidence bias. Yes, right. In the context of the past success, this bias can manifest individual belief that the past success are are really unfair. So see that in this case of of the of confidence bias, different of the of the, the the previous one was control bias. It was the illusion of control, which is different from overconfidence. Of confidence bias has to do with the fact that. It, for example, where when you are investing on the on the stock market, you tend to believe that if you take if you get get it right for them ten times, it means that you 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 necessarily is going to take it right in the upcoming case. So it's a kind of very dangerous uh, very dangerous bias because you start to believe that you have control. Uh, as you can see, I have a huge amount of fear of uh, use of ChatGPT. So I'm going to leave you guys. For in the upcoming future, I hope to come back with more videos for you. So hope that helps you to use ChatGPT in the best way possible.